Hey everyone, welcome back. We just wrapped up another seven night cruise on Royal Caribbean's flagship Wonder of the Seas. Our cruise sailed from Port Canaveral on Sunday, March 12th and returned on Sunday, March 19th. This itinerary included stops in St. Thomas, St. Kitts, and Coco Cay. As most of you know, Wonder of the Seas currently carries the distinction as the world's largest cruise ship. In this side-by-side -side comparison, notice the enormous size difference between Wonder of the Seas on the left and this Morella cruise ship on the right while docked in St. Kitts. While Wonder is an enormous ship, it's entirely possible that some first-time cruise passengers may find its sheer size to be intimidating. We will discuss this throughout this video overview. Meanwhile, let's get into some interesting facts about Wonder of the Seas. This cutaway image really underscores just how massive Wonder of the Seas actually is. While the ship clearly incorporates an innovative design, its 1,188 foot length can also be very difficult to navigate, especially during school vacation week with the ship at 95% capacity. So this video will capture areas of the ship and different activities we found enjoyable as two adults without kids. First stop, Let's check out our balcony stateroom for this journey. We are in 9330, which is located starboard aft on the ship's deck plan. This stateroom offers generally standard amenities that are found on most newer ships. Overall, the space was comfortable and our cabin guide, Dennis, was awesome. Let's go inside. Okay, so you've done your research and you've paid your four or $5,000 for your family cruise vacation. One of the best and most obvious ways to optimize your onboard experience is to explore the ship when there are very few passengers around, especially in the morning. This viewpoint will allow you so much additional perspective about where and how you wanna spend your time on board. For us, we typically found ourselves on deck 15 and deck 16, particularly in the solarium section on deck 15. But Deck 15 also offers two main swimming pools, splash away bay water slides, and a beach pool at Perfect Storm water slides. Deck 15 also offered several whirlpools, and the wind jammer was also found on Deck 15 aft.
So here's a bit of an unguided tour of decks 15 and 16 when there's really no one around early in the morning. And then later in the day when there's no seating available anywhere near the pool deck. Now, another location to note, if you're in need of toothpaste, cold medicine, Advil, even earbuds, is a slightly out of the way set of retail vending machines off the elevators on deck 16. The area is called Unboxed. In addition to the wind jammer on deck 15, of which most of you are already familiar, some of Wonder's complimentary dining options that we wanted to highlight here included the main dining area. With its themed menus, the food quality was always very good, and the service was impeccable. Later in the video, we'll show you some highlights from the Solarium Bistro and El Loco Fresh, two restaurants that are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the casual side.
Fantastic. Would you like, if you're gonna stand anyway, can you stand here and hold your fucking cell phone flashlight? <laughs> Hey, if you're able to get to St. Kitts, please don't forget to check out the Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and definitely worth checking out. So our impressions of Wonder of the Seas are generally very favorable. She has modern amenities, great entertainment, fabulous dining options, interesting excursions, and lots and lots of passengers. For some, too many passengers. It'll be a bit overwhelming. For us, overall, we enjoyed Wonder of the Seas and look forward to traveling again. Thanks for watching, everyone.